Welcome to Electron Line. To understand the transits of Mercury a little bit better, let's take a look at all 14 of the transits that either have occurred or will occur in the 21st century. So in this century, we're blessed with one additional Mercury transit compared to what we normally get in a century. Notice that in this column, we have the difference in time between transits. Notice it's either three and a half years, nine and a half years, 13 years, or seven years. Also note the year in which it will occur, the month, and the date. Also over here we have what we call the series. Well we've noticed this because of the uh, combination of the orbital time and orbital time of Mercury and the orbital time of the Sun and the positions of the Earth, the Sun, and, and Mercury. It seems like we can actually see almost duplications of when certain transits will occur and we put those in a series and all of them are 46 years apart. And so they're, they're numbered. Every time a new series starts, we start with a new series number. So notice that on May 7, 2003, we had a transit that was three and a half years after the previous transit, which was at the end of the previous century, and that was part of series nine. If we follow that down here, here we have another transit on Sirius 9, which also happened on May 7th, but 46 years later, or will happen. It hasn't happened yet, of course, that's in the future. And then if you go down here again, we have another transit in the same series. Notice 46 years later, now it will be on May 8th. So slowly it will shift through the calendar. It'll be a fraction of a day every 46 years that will happen later. So you can see that the series will last for quite a long time, for quite a few centuries. Here we have series eight, where we, we had a transit in 2006, November 8. And then if you look at the next event, this was November 9, 2052, 46 years later. And the next event, November 10th, 2098. Again, a very slow shift in the calendar. And you can see that, they, that they're all roughly 46 years apart. Then we have the next series, which is series seven. We have the transit just recently in 2016, May 19th. We go to the next event, that would be, so May 9th. So now we go to May 10th, 46 years later. And then 46 years later, it will be like May 10th or May 11th and so forth. So you can see the pattern in there. The next series is series six. We will have a transit in 2019, that's next year in November. So. As, as of the date of the shooting of this video, it'll be a little bit more than a year from now. And notice, catch that one, otherwise you'll have to wait another 13 years before you have another transit of Mercury across the disk of the Sun. So this will be part of series six, November 11th, if we go down here, 46 years later, November 11th, we'll have another transit. Here we have series four, that will be November 13th in the year 2032, the next event, will be November 14th, one calendar day later, 46 years after this event. And I believe we have one more, that's uh, series 10, November 7th in 2039. We have another series 10, November 7th, same calendar date, 46 years later. So you can see that there seems to be an almost virtual repetition of these events, just slightly shifted on the calendar because the number rotations aren't exactly an integer number for those number of years, but very close, and that's why you see these serious repetitions. So that gives you kind of a good idea of how we can predict when the next transit is going to occur for Mercury. And that's, those are the ones that we're going to see in this century.